we come to the next step, which is a half helmet. So obviously this is about half coverage and by half, I mean the top half of your head. So you got the top half of the back, the sides, the top, the front, but you're not going to be covered anywhere sort of below that ear level. These are also called brain buckets. They're really, really popular for people who ride Harley Davidsons, for cruisers, even on some sort of aggressive uh, street fighter bikes or naked bikes, you'll see these helmets cropping up. Now they are DOT rated, so they're legal on Canadian roads. Um, but I wouldn't say that these are structurally equal um, in terms of safety to something like a full face, even where there is coverage, because a lot of time manufacturers are really focused on meeting uh, the DOT rating with the least possible volume, with the least possible weight. So with this, you're really looking at more lightweight. You're not going to get the same amount of protection on the top side as you would uh, with like a full face helmet. And of course, you're going to have less coverage all around. The benefit to that uh, is that iconic style. It's that freedom ethos of motorcycling. You know, you're totally out there in the elements. You have awesome airflow with this. Um, you know, you may need a bandana or, or glasses or goggles, but the airflow is really, you can't compare with the true half helmet. It's really, really great. Some models like the Bell Rogue will even have a muzzle that'll come out over your face uh, and handle some of that coverage for you. So it's definitely something to check out if that's something that interests you. 